Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm getting ready to take a look at a new song by Catfish and the Bottleman called Kathleen. I'm putting a capo on number six for this. Um, I'm doing this based on his live versions that you can find online. I've watched two or three of them. He always uses a capo on number six. So uh, that's the way I'm going to do it. I, I put a link to um, the video that I'm using kind of as my guideline for this below. So if you want to watch him play it, um, you can do that. I'm going to go ahead and start. Here we go. All right, so starting off here, just a reminder, the capo I've got on the sixth fret, if you want to play it like he does live. First chord we're gonna need is gonna be a C chord. All right, second chord we're gonna need is gonna be a G. Third chord, E minor. Fourth chord is going to be a D chord, but we're gonna play it, he plays it kind of in a unique way. Um, it has a little bit different sound than the D chord you normally play like this. So he's playing it with the index finger on the 2nd string 3rd fret, uh, the 2nd finger on the 4th string 4th fret, and your last two fingers are going to be on the 6th and 5th strings of the 5th fret. Okay? So we'll just call that a D. Or I'll, I'll call it a D special because we're going to need a, a, a normal D later in the song, so I'll call it a D special. So just to review one more time, we have a C chord to a G chord to an E minor, to our D special. All right. The way we're gonna be strumming this is going to be down strums with palm muting, so. Okay. Um, if you want to play it just like he does, um, when he changes chords, he does a quick down up. All right, um, so it would sound like. Okay, all right, so now we have the chords and we have the strumming so we can sing with it. It'll sound like this. Alright, so on that last D at the end, I just play a normal D. Um, you can do it either way. I've seen him play it both ways where he plays it a normal D, um, like this, um, or that D special. I've seen him play it both ways, but I usually just go to a normal D to end the, end the verse. Alright, so that brings us to the bridge. The bridge, we're going to use a C over G chord as our first chord. So it's the same shape as this D special you've been playing. So if you just slide that up where, in the, where you're on the first, second, and third frets, instead of on the 3rd, 4th, and 5th frets, that's a C over G. So if you take your index finger and put it on the 2nd string 1st fret, your 2nd finger and put it on the 4th string 2nd fret, your last two fingers on the 6th and 5th sixth and fifth strings of the 3rd fret, that's a C over G chord. Alright, 2nd uh, chord is going to be a G, 3rd chord is a D, 4th chord E minor, and the final chord of that sequence is a D. And we're going to play that twice. The second time around when we play it, we're going after we after we're on the D, we're going to finish up with an A minor and we're just going to start down strumming. That's going to transition us into the chorus. So we're going to, on the A minor, we're going to be like and then we start the chorus, okay? So it's C over G to G to D to E minor to D. Then you repeat that a second time, C over G to G to D and then you finish up with that A minor at the end of the whole sequence and that'll put you into the chorus all right so the strumming is so it's down down up up down up down down up up down up down down up up down 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 
strumming, okay? So that's the strumming for the whole sequence. I'll write it on the bottom of the screen to make it more clear. One other thing I want to point out with the strumming, so kind of like he does in the verse when I showed you before, as he's switching chords, it's kind of random when he does it. He doesn't always do it, do it for every time he switches, but when he switches chords, he does a quick down up. So he goes. So you see how I'm doing like a quick down up strum as I switch chords. All right, so now that we've got all those strumming variations, now we can put words with it and play the bridge. It sounds like this. And I come. So that brings us to the chorus. The chorus chords, we're going to start off with an E minor. Second chord, we're going to use that C over G chord again. And the third chord is going to be a D. All right, so one more time with the chorus chords, E minor, C over G, and D. All right, so let's talk about the strumming here on the chorus. So. Um, Remember, we come off that bridge and we're just down strumming on an A minor. Okay, so we just go. And then we come to the first chord of the chorus, which is E minor, and we're gonna actually, it's gonna be an up strum instead of a down strum. All right? So on that E minor, we're gonna be, we're gonna, we're just gonna go up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then as we switch chords, we're gonna do like a chuck, what they call a chuck. So basically, you're gonna strum but you're gonna use your palm to silence the string so you don't hear anything. Okay? So just use your palm to silence that down strum. So overall, again, if I repeat it, on the E minor we go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, chuck. And then you go to the C over G chord and you just go up, down, up, chuck. And then go to the D, up, down, up, chuck. And then back to the E minor. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, chuck, up, down, up, chuck, up, down, up, chuck, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, chuck, up, down, up, chuck, up, down, up, chuck. Okay? So you see how that works? Um, it's a little bit tricky the first time you try it. I... All right, so now what I'm going to do is put words with it. I'll start with that A minor that ends the bridge, and I'll transition into the chorus. Okay? I got to give it to you. You give me problems. When you're not in the mood I gotta give it to you You give me problems And maybe give in to you Adela hates me, you know He used to see her, but she sold Him off and down the river Alright So that leads you back into another verse all right, so there is a nice little outro section for this song. After that, that second chorus, he's going to play an outro. And you're going to need a G to an E minor 7 to a D. All right. And we're kind of using a similar strumming pattern to what we we're using in the chorus. So we go up, down, up, chuck, up, down, up, chuck on the G. And then on the E minor 7, we go up, down, up, chuck. And then on the D, we go up, down, up, chuck. So the whole sequence is up, down, up, chuck, up, down, up, chuck on the G. E minor 7, up, down, up, chuck. D, up, down, up, chuck. So if we sang with it, it would sound like... and then he just silences the strings and, and it's a sudden stop to the song, okay? So um, I think you play that, that chord sequence about four times. Um, just, just play whatever feels right. Um, but I play it about four times at the end, okay? And that's all you're gonna need to know. So um, you have the, the verse part, the bridge, the chorus, and then that outro. Those are the, all the parts of the song. You should be able to play it now. Um, I think you're good. Thanks a lot for watching. See you later. Yes,
So you don't Instead you call me 